What a lovely day to bake. Moin, my name is Arne, German hobby baker who is living in Luxembourg. Well, today we do not bake. Today I want to show you a great trick for changing up the recipe amounts without doing any complicated math. We are talking about baker's mass today. And yes, you heard me right, we're talking about mass today. If I had been told in school that there were actually quite practical applications for it after all, I'm sure I would have loved the subject even more. Instead of a great video about bread, I prepared a little presentation for you today to show you some examples. Even if you already use this technique, it's worth sticking with it to the end because I give you a few more helpful tricks to keep in mind when getting recipes. So have fun! This is a special edition from Luxembourg with Loaf. So let's begin with the presentation about Baker's Mass. Baker's Mass is a system of measuring ingredients we are using in baking. And that means we can use this technique to scale up and also to scale down recipes. It is based on the assumption that we take flour as 100% and then all other ingredients are calculated as percentage of these 100%. So flour equals 100%. This is the most important assumption you need to know. And with flour I only mean the flour we're using in the main dough. So not the flour that we're using for the poolish or the sourdough starter or whatever. It's only the flour for the main dough. So let's start with a simple example. Here we are having a bread recipe with yeast and we're having a recipe where we have 500 grams of flour, 350 grams of water, 10 grams of salt and 5 grams of yeast. We now want to actually figure out what are the percentages. So 100% as we already saw is flour. And then we have 70% of water. You can get to that uh, percentage by actually um, dividing 350 grams um, through 500 grams and 500 grams is the weight of flour. And we do exactly the same. Uh, so we divide 10 grams through 500 and then we get 2% for salt and 1% for yeast. So um, this was easy but now actually what we want to do, we want to scale up the recipe just a tiny bit because maybe we have a bigger Benetton. So let's assume we want to scale up the recipe um, to match 600 grams of flour because this is actually um, what is left in my bag of flour. So let's do that. And what we do here, we use the 70% that we just calculated in the step before. And um, actually we're using here um, yeah, a different notation. So instead of 70% we use 0 0.7 which is equal 70% and we multiply that by 600 gram. So this is the uh, amount of flour that we're going to take and we get a value of 480 grams for the water. We get 12 grams of salt and 6 grams of yeast. So wasn't that easy? So let's continue with a uh, sour bread. Too bored with this one? Then check out the other videos on my channel. I would be happy about a like and if you subscribe to my channel if you activate the notifications, you will not miss the next videos and there will be baked again, promise. So the sourdough bread we have again 100% for the flour. We have this time 375 grams that we divide by 500 and get 75%. We have 10 grams of salt uh, which is 2% and then we have levain. This is basically an active sourdough starter that we prepared for making the bread and this is at this time 20% and this time we want to have 800 grams in total so we want to make two loaves of bread. This is basically my standard um, uh, flour ratio that I'm taking for my Benetons to have two loaves of bread and uh, we calculate the 800 grams times .75 and that's equal 600 grams. We have 16 grams of salt and we have 160 grams of liver. So that was easy, but let's continue with something even more advanced. And we want to replace parts of the flour with whole grain flour. And this time we have 400 grams of bread flour and we're taking 100 grams of whole grain flour. The rest stays the same. 
so this time as i said at the very beginning the total amount of flour that we're using in the main dough stays 100 percent so we have 400 divided by 500 grams and this is 80 percent we have 100 grams divided by 500 grams this is 20 percent and the rest stays the same 75 percent hydration and two percent of salt and 20 percent of the vin. so this is quite easy um, let's do exactly the same calculation steps. So we need 640 grams of bread flour, 160 grams of whole grain flour and 600 grams of water and 16 grams of salt and 160 grams of levain. So um, yeah, this is basically how you calculate everything based on the baker mass percentage. So some important notes you always need to remember when working with Baker's Mars or when working with scaling up and down recipes. It's easy to remember recipes that you have in Baker's Mars. So if you compare the left side of the recipe with the right side of the recipe, it's so much easier to remember a recipe written in Baker's Mars. You do not have to remember how many grams uh, you had to use for the recipe. Instead, you just remember the percentage values. Okay, for this one with the whole grain flour, uh, whole grain flour, it's maybe a little bit more complicated, but 75% hydration, that's everything besides 20% starter and 2% salt, what you need to remember. The rest are values that you can easily exchange. So the weight of the loaf can affect the baking time and this is also a very important point because actually every 250 grams more dough will extend your baking time by 5 to 10 minutes. So the easiest thing would be to measure the temperature in the bread at least for the first time that you bake with a different scaling of the recipe. So ideally the uh, inner temperature should be around 94 to 98 degrees Celsius, that's around 201 degrees Fahrenheit to 208 degrees Fahrenheit. The proving time also will be shorter if you have a higher quantity of dough. Meaning if you have like 3 kilograms of dough, of course the temperature in the dough remains more constant than if you would only have 300 grams and would lay that on your countertop. Then it would just immediately cool and then of course then the um, fermentation time will take longer. And then also like if you add whole grain flour to your uh, bread recipe, then the fermentation time is also way faster because you have more enzymes inside of whole grain flour. I hope you enjoyed the video and you could learn a little from it. I first heard about the technique in the book Tartine Bread by Chad Robertson. I put the link in the video description below. It's one of my favorite books on baking and really worth reading. I actually convert every recipe I find on the internet into baker's mass. This makes it so easy to compare recipes and I can adapt the recipes for my proving basket, for example. When someone asks me for my standard wheat sourdough recipe, I just say 75, 22, and so they can calculate the recipe based on the amount of flour. And so mass is finally fun. See you on the next video, Eddie and goodbye.